Alright guys, thanks for stopping in and checking out the video. Got another badass exploit for you all. My man, Helderado, came up with this. I don't know, if I think he may have gotten it from someone else. But however, I'm going to give props to Helderado because that's where I learned of this. So the first thing you guys want to do is uh, you want to make sure you have the weapons that you want, that you're going to be using. So mainly what this is, is an exploit to not have to clean your guns every three minutes or every time you shoot a couple times. This is an exploit that keeps your guns clean the whole time you're in, a, in the lobby that you're in. And I know this kind of sounds weird, but uh, I'm gonna explain it right now. So first thing you wanna do is get the guns you wanna use. So obviously, if I'm gonna be in a... I know the varmint rifle gets pretty dirty pretty quick when you're hunting and getting small animals and stuff. So let's just, and you could do this with the Lancaster that way, if, you know, if you get people chasing you down or, or if they come to fight you or whatever, then your guns will never get dirty, They'll not, you know, de degrade or whatever you want to call it. Um, so in that case, I would use a Lancaster and a bolt action and pistols. But for hunting purposes, I'm going to go ahead and use my varmint rifle because that gets dirty real quick. Now, the first thing you want to do is pick out the weapons that you're going to be using for that day. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever you're planning on doing, whether it's to fight other players or if it's to go hunting. The varmint rifle, the bolt action, and these pistols. The second thing you want to do that's important, and uh, Helderado really put a lot of emphasis on this, make sure you clean your guns at this point before you start it. So make sure you clean the guns. So let's clean this pistol. So what you want to do is you want to open up your satchel. You want to go over to Call of Arms. Telegrams, obviously. Call to Arms and just start that up. I'm just going to go to Blackwater. And we're going to start it in Blackwater. Step one, pick the guns you're going to want to use. Step two, make sure they're clean. Step three, start call to arms like this. I'm solo, so that's pretty cool. Now what you want to do is once you get in here, stay in here for a, a little bit, just for a little bit. You must be crazy, but we'll take it. Just wait like, I don't know, maybe five to ten seconds to stand in here for a little bit. It's like this. Okay, so we'll go to recent players, but I'm going to do it via the Xbox dashboard. You guys won't be able to see that, so I'll explain it to you as I do it. Um, I mean, you could probably join in on any friend that's playing right now, like this. But I don't like to just jump in on friends if they don't know I'm coming. It's kind of imposing, I feel like. Like, I'm like, what's he doing here, you know? So, I'm not going to do that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my Xbox Home button on my controller. I'm going to hit the RB button over to friends and then I'm going to scroll down to recently played with, right? I'm going to go into that menu and I was, I have a list of people that I was just in the lobby with them two minutes ago. So I'm going to find one that's showing online. So Xbox home button, RB to friends list, access your friends list, scroll down to the bottom where it says recently played with. And then find a um, person there that's showing online. So I found one person that's showing online. And they're moseying in Valentine. So I'm going to join in on them. I'm going to join their game. See if I did this right. If you see the white dots in the sky, like you guys see the white dot with the line under it, that means it worked. You did it. If you don't get those white dots with the lines, it means that you have to do it again. And then it'll stay in this screen for a minute. It takes a while to 
You know what I mean? It takes a while to get into the lobby when you do it like this. So you have to sit here and wait. All right, so let me uh, show you guys now that you can sit there and shoot your guns as many times as you want and they will not get dirty. Now, if you guys leave this lobby, like this lobby that I'm in, like after you do this whole exploit and you end up in a lobby and you're doing it and then you happen to accidentally jump lobbies or you get disconnected or something, you're gonna have to start the whole exploit over again. You're gonna have to redo it because once you come out of that lobby, it's done. You're, it's you're gonna your guns will get dirty when you shoot them. So let's do a little test here, guys. All right. So I got my varmint rifle that I was talking about. Let me make sure I'm not on sedative rounds. I don't want to waste those. All right, guys, so I shot three different clips off. The gun should definitely be dirty right now, right? Look at that. Look at that right there. Clean, clean, clean. That's the one I was just shooting. It's clean. It doesn't degrade. See that? I'm telling you, Helderado's a goat. All right, let's do the bolt action. Let's try the bolt action. There's one clip. There's two clips. And there's three clips. I know bold actions don't get clips. I understand that. I'm just doing that for the sake of the video. You stinky winkies. I understand guns. I get it. All right, now let's look at the... There it is. Boom. It doesn't degrade. You see that, guys? Look at that. It does not degrade at all. Farmer rifle still 100% clean. Bolt action is still 100% clean. I'm not going to um, demonstrate it with my Lowry's revolver or any of these. I mean, I'm not, because I'll waste my, well, I mean, I, I don't have to use explosive rounds. I guess I could just do this. All right, guys, so the Lamat revolver is still 100% clean, and the Lauer revolver is still 100% clean. So there we go, guys. There it is. I just proved it. It works. If you guys want to make it to where you don't have to sit there, if you're, if you're going to go hunting or you know you're going to be using your guns a lot, do this exploit. That way you don't have to sit there and clean your guns and waste gun oil. You don't have to ride to a gun, gun store somewhere and have them clean your guns and spend a dollar each. I know a dollar is not... Not all, not much, but I mean, it still, it adds up when you use it all the time. You know what I mean? One dollar, that bill could turn into, I've spent $200 on gun oil and cleaning my guns and everything. So thanks to Helderado. The link to his channel is below in the description. Um, and yeah, this is how you can uh, exploit the guns to where you don't have to sit there and clean them every five minutes. I appreciate you guys checking the video. Until the next time, peace.